Hello there everyone, it's Shiny Sparky14 and welcome back to more Oceanhorn. Last time we made it to the palace and we explored a bit of the first room. So, let's go ahead and continue this time. Here we are, unlocking this door and making it to the next place. Let's go. Down through the basement, let's see what we encounter. Hopefully something cool, you know. Alright, let's see here. So, uh, this place has well, a bunch of these frozen things. Alright, fine. I'm going to go ahead and... Let's see, what am I going to do to get past this puzzle? Yeah, okay, this, this puzzle could actually, you know, really work your mind a bit. For now, I'm just going to get rid of some frozen junk because I needed to do it for the challenge anyways. So I might as well get rid of one or maybe two, you know, I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, I think that one could block because I'm going to have to make a run for it. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to have to run through there and it looks like it'll block that very skinny way. Okay, so let's see here. I'm going to go ahead and break these things first to try and get some magic back. Alrighty. Very nice. So let's begin by hitting the switch. Hitting the switch basically switches up these pillars that you just saw. It raised these, but it lowered these. But now we can enter the center of the room. This place has a bunch of jars, a switch over there, which does the same thing. It actually switches them back. And here's a tombstone. To reveal a treasure chest, you must stand in the coldest spot of the dragon's breath. Okay, that's for another thing. But. For this first puzzle of the, of the pillars, there's a switch right here, however, like I said, hitting each switch, such as that one too, I'll just show you actually, I hit the bat too, it switches them back as you can see, but it also switches these, so you want to be very careful with how this works. What I'm going to do is obviously hit this because we need to get through. The good thing is you only see that cutscene the first time, let me kill this bat, alright there we go. Let's see here, um, if I hit, okay actually I need those pillars too, so what I'm going to do is stand on top of one of these things and get the force spell to hit this switch. This way it sets it up perfectly, now it raises these pillars which we need and, well, hold on. Gotta wait for this thing to stop shooting ice, hurry up dude, you shoot for way too much man. Are you kidding me? Alright, let's go. So, no, I didn't want to hit it just yet. You gotta be kidding me. No, that's not, that not a good time. I need to wait. I need to wait. I need to wait and... And, and, and... Run! Now. I think now's a good time. Yep. You gotta time it well. When that thing stops shooting, simply run on through and there we go. Now, just please don't fall off. Because, you know, if you fall off, it's kind of a fail. And you do not want that to happen. Alright, nothing that way. What about this way? Oh yeah, this, this way. Remember, stand at the coldest point of the breath, remember that? Well, once you stop shooting ice, I will go ahead and show you what we have to do. I mean, I'm pretty sure you can guess already, because the grave, or whatever, tomb, actually already tells you. Just stand there, and there we go. Stand there, and it reveals the treasure chest. However, I'm not going to fall just yet, because there are more things we can do, such as... Coming over here, and wait a minute, wait a minute, there's nothing really, okay, never mind. I stand corrected, people, there's nothing else. Oh, I could have gotten in that. Alright, this gives us a, what the hell does this give us? Oh, a key, okay, regular key, I see. Um, obviously hit this, because we have to get through. Okay, now, let me see here. Whoa, it just killed that bad, did you see that? And they give us free experience. Yeah, that's one really cool thing about this game. Even if you don't beat up the enemies, but if they die on screen, you still get experience with them. You still do. Which is honestly a pretty nice thing. You're getting some free stuff. Now, one thing I did forget in the last video is up this uh, small stairway. This actually takes us to a bloodstone. Something rather important. But yeah, there's a bloodstone right here. Let's go ahead and hit it and grab it. There we go. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and use the key to open up the next key door. This one, let's go on through. And this takes us to a place with a sign. All right, let's read it. A peculiar plan from the world above. Picked by Princess Finn herself. Interesting, okay. Let's see here. Um, this thing shoots ice. I'm just going to run on through and take damage. Who cares? Who cares? Because there's plenty of jars everywhere. I'm just going to go ahead and hit one. And there's my heart back already. See that? So let's see, 
up through this where there's nothing. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, let me see. I have to. If I go through here, there's a checkpoint. I might, might as well take it, right? But if I go up through these mini stairs, then there's a switch here. Yes, there's actually another thing over there, which I kind of want to go to first. Let's go ahead and read this uh, tombstone here, you know? Let's read it. This dream takes you to the underwater kingdom. Swimming is forbidden. Okay, whatever that means. Well, I mean, I know what the swimming is forbidden part. I just don't know the first part, the underwater kingdom. Anyways, what you want to do here is simply step on this switch. It's another time switch. Remember that the green switches always wear off after some time. So what you want to do is, well, destroy all that junk and then push this block enough times. Now, you can't do it in one try because you're going to run out of time. But you want to do as much work as you can within one switch time, whatever you want to call it. Simply press it again and let's continue. Let's go ahead and push this block a few more times. And that, put it, that puts it at that. Now we just have to wait for the water to rise so we can get on through. Let's go, there we go. Right over here and now we are in the next place. So, oh damn it, another ice shooter. What are we going to do here? Let's see here. Don't freeze me, don't freeze me dude. Uh, there's nothing that... Oh, shoot, you froze me. I could just... You know what? I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna kill you, you damn fire junk. Oh, you froze me again. Are you kidding me? You can't just hit me two times. There, die. Okay, you're dead. There we go. Um, We need some bombs here. Because, well, we want, we want to blow this junk up because we have to get some stuff from back there. These barrels are actually very important. We need them because they will allow us to go towards the next place. That is right, we can also use those things all the way back there, but they're a bit further, so why do that, right? Why waste more time when the barrels are closer to us? Alright, so that's one. And then, see, I don't know why they always show the cutscene for just- what the hell, I'm putting it in there. There. I don't know why they show the cutscene for just one when really it's not doing anything at all. You gotta use both. Alright, let's go up through this way. And this takes us to another one of these. Past a bridge of locks and beneath the floor hides a secret store. Inside it an item a hero wore. Dare to jump and you will soar and explore. Ooh, I like your rhymes very much. Okay, this place could get a pretty pretty confusing. Past the light throughout the rooms, yeah. That one's pretty obvious what it means. Light the torches. There are plenty of torches to light. There really is. First things first, there's one right here. Let's go ahead and get our uh, arrow and we almost got frozen. Alright, that's one. There are three torches, I believe. So you want to, of course... Oh, no, no, don't freeze me, don't freeze me, dude. There's another one there, but I don't know if I have enough magic. I'm going to go ahead and try and get some. Alright, there we go, right here. Don't freeze me. Oh, that guy's freaking scary. I could just kill him. You know what, I probably will. Alright, second torch is right here. That's two. And, you know what? I will kill that guy. Oh wait, I don't have enough magic, really? It looks like I have enough. Did they give me magic? No, that's a bomb. I don't really want... And that gave me a f arrows. I don't really want that either. Alright, let's go on through. What the hell do we have to push to get through here? I guess this one, maybe? No? Really? Dude! You're, you're annoying. This damn enemy is so annoying. Okay, can you please stop with your freeze? Are you kidding me? There. Push it like that, this helps us get through. Tombstone, which we can't read. Switch here. This opens up that gate. Alright, very interesting. Um, more jars. I really want to kill that guy, man. He's Pick up a jar! Oh my god, dude. Pick up a damn jar and there we go. Alright, now I have enough to kill you. There, die, you annoying enemy. But now I need some more magic. Oh, there we go. Full of, full of magic again. Full of magic. Let's continue now. Oh, let's see here. Alright, this place. Let's go ahead and melt this ice. Because we have to get through. And what what the hell? It didn't work. It always works. Why didn't it melt the ice? That was strange. Oh, because I keep... Okay, no, never mind. I thought... Maybe I tapped on the wrong thing. I thought I tapped on the right one, though. It also burned this one. Melt. Again, I keep saying burn when I really mean melt. There's a coin there, which, um, I can't really... Oh, there we go. I got it. 
I need more mana or magic. Okay, a bunch of these guys. Let's just go ahead and kill you all with bombs. More of that. There we go. Um, purple coral junk. And let's go ahead and get this fire spell once again. And burn this ice. There we go. Uh, let's see. More bombs, right? Yeah, let's just get more bombs. One there. And one there. Okay. There's a lot of jars here. This is very nice. I mean, I have to burn all those things for that challenge. Okay, another key. We need three keys. I believe I did mention that as soon as we got here to this room. I could be wrong, though. But yeah, we need three keys. And let's see here. Uh, we came from... Okay, we came from that way, obviously. So we have to go towards this side. And this side is pretty damn annoying. You'll, you'll see why. Alright, checkpoint. There's a chest over there. And there's a chest... Over there. Oh yeah, there's also... You know what? I'll light that up too. Light it up. That's the third torch. One, two, light up all three. A chest appears over there, but before we go there, we have something else to do. We have to do a very, very... Ridiculously time-consuming and tedious... Quest here. We have to walk through this place, and yes, you can fall off at any time if you are not careful. Which is why this damn place is so annoying. So, you want to be very, very careful. You want to concentrate a lot to not fall off. It's very important that you don't, like I just said. Don't you dare fall. Don't you dare fall. Alright, we're close. Don't go too fast. I mean, I know you want to, you know, like, not waste time, but... Sometimes it's better to go slow here. That way you don't really fall off. Okay, there we go. There's a chest here. What is it? It gives us a regular explorer crystal, which is worth 50 XP. Very nice. Let's just go through. I should have waited. Oh well. But we're not done yet, people. We have to go to the other side now to get that chest. We have to do the same exact thing. And again, be careful. Right now it's... Okay. Oh my god, I almost fell there. Did you see that? That was close. That was very, very close. Alright. This, this part is easy. It's the turns, man. It's the turns that are crazy sometimes, because you want to really... Because, see, sometimes when you turn a lot, really sharply, your character does, like, a weird circle, and it could really screw you over here. You could accidentally fall off. That's why you want to make your turns very clean. Oh, my God, I almost fell off right there, too. Okay. There we go. That's the chest, and this one gives us a regular key. Very nice. Let's continue now. Get back out of here. Okay, we're gonna get hit here. There's no way to avoid this. They put the spikes way too, you know. Look at that. You can't run through that. Are you kidding me? That's cheap. Okay, at least there's some jars here, which will give us some health, of course. And a bomb and some magic. Okay, very nice. I'm gonna go ahead and burn this place. Again, I said burn. I'm just gonna keep saying burn. Who cares by this point, really? Let's do one more right over there. So I can burn that place. Because I should be close to the challenge. I'm trying to get that challenge of... Yeah, you know, melt objects 15 times? Yeah, okay. I should get it eventually. Checkpoint once again. Now we are all done with this side. So there's only one place left to go. And that's actually this chest. Let's obtain it. And this gives us... Our third and final key for this... Uh, room. We need three because again, you will see why. There's one little place right there. That is so cheap. You've got to be kidding me. Alright, you know what? Oh my god. Get him, get him before he freaking freezes you again. Because if I don't kill him, he's going to keep doing that. He's going to keep doing that. Okay, I need some jars or something because I'm pretty low. Is there a... Uh... Oh yeah, there's purple stuff over here, but those usually don't have... Hey, health from what I've noticed yeah no health oh well anything else over here I mean I could use some stuff you know I really could nope guess I just gotta keep going with two hearts let's keep going then all right let's open the second one and the third one is right there as you can see there we go that's all three okay let's go ahead and you know take care of these things or try and get some health see they never give any health. Why even try? Let's just fall. Okay, once we fall through, we get taken to this place with a chest here. And this contains 
perhaps my favorite, actually yeah, my favorite equipment in the game, the Trencher Boots. Use boots to jump over small ledges or dodge enemy attacks. Alright, the Trencher Boots are amazing. For one, you can actually jump small distances like this. Each jump does consume stamina, but it's fine. It is fine, man. Seriously, it's well worth it. I'm trying to kill these bats here while my stamina recharges. Get over here, you bat. Get over here. There, you're dead. Yeah, so jump, 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 and there we go. I'm sure you remember this place. I'm sure you do. This was the place, yeah, this area right after uh, this rather confusing timed puzzle. But we're all done in here. There's nothing else to collect here. Oh, there's some jars. Oh, I should have gotten the jars. Oh, well. There's more jars over here somewhere. Yeah, this place has two right here. Let's see what we get. Got a heart and some more mana. All right, fine. Um, I want to burn some places, though. I need to burn some stuff. Because I need that challenge. I really do. There's one. I can get two burns with one whole filled mana, you know. Magic, I should say. There we go. I got it. That's 15 already. I feel like I was more closer to 10 rather than 15, but oh, oh well. Okay, now, um, that other bloodstone that you just saw. Now that we have the trencher boots, oh yeah, the second function of the trencher boots, of course, which makes it really, really nice, is the roll. Overall, it speeds up. It speeds you up a lot. It does, and I will show it once I get past this part. And this part... It's just a series of jumps, pretty simple. All you have to do is jump through, and this takes you to another bloodstone. Let's go ahead and hit it, and grab it. There we go, there's our bloodstone. Now, uh, there's some jars there, but who cares, I'm just gonna go on through. Yeah. See this roll? You can keep doing it, I mean, yes, it does consume stamina, but it doesn't matter. It really speeds you up, and it's really nice, I must say, really nice. Okay, so that's all for that side, not for the other side. And this other side, there is actually... How many things? One one thing, maybe? Um, are you kidding me? Don't die. Dude, that froze me for way too long. Seriously. Some magic and some... Okay, you know what, let's take this pot, which is like a sacred pot, apparently. And destroy it. I'm only at one heart, and these jars refuse to give me any hearts, which is kind of a problem, to be honest. Yeah, see, they keep giving me magic, even though I'm full. It's kind of annoying. Hmm. Nope, I don't want magic. I'm already full of magic. God damn it. I need magic. Okay, what am I gonna do here? There's only this place left. Hopefully it has a heart. No, it did not. Okay, that's a problem. Um... One thing I haven't tried is actually, you know what, can I, can I burn that? I'm not sure if I can. Let me try. No, it doesn't work. Okay. That is honestly a problem. Come on, come on, come on. Hurry up. Dude. Are you kidding me? Alright, come on, come on. Go. Yeah, roll. Rolling helps get through those things. Yes, hearts. Thank you. I got some hearts finally. Okay. What we have to do now is... Go through this place. Checkpoint, okay, very nice. I could use that. This room contains a chest, which is, uh, God. Alright, you know what? I need to burn you, because you're going to get very annoying if I don't. I'm going to have to do a lot of jumps. And if I don't kill him, he's going to get me for sure. What are you going to give me, mana? Okay, magic. Again, they call it mana because I'm used to certain games, such as the world of magic. More magic over there? Fine, whatever. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Alright, I need to jump. Is it going to freeze me if I jump there? Uh, I'm just going to not... I'll just wait. Hurry up. Alright, jump and then... Jump and then... Alright, there we go. Okay, so here we get a master key. That is very, very useful. Now, if we keep going, I believe there is nothing else, right? Because that takes us to... No, no, there's nothing else. We're all done here. We are. All that's left is the boss, but that's going to be for next time, yeah. Past that master key room is actually the boss. That is right. But I kind of need to go there at full health, you know? Okay, this pl this part is really annoying. you got to be kidding me. Alright, walking all the way back towards the beginning. Okay, now I do need to fill up in mana and stuff, or mana and HP. But next time, I'm going to unlock that master key 
door in the middle right there and continue on. So yeah, thank you for watching, goodbye everybody, and until next time.